So let's assume that we have a project that we've been working on, and it's going to work better when your project is at least several minutes long. So here's just a sequence of a bunch of clips, but you know, yours could be more well edited, and we want to create a cinematic trailer, like recap sequence of all of these clips. A nice sort of montage. So the first thing we're going to want to do is highlight all of the clips that we'll want to include in this recap, and we're going to right click on them and nest that sequence. So that's going to create a nested sequence. We can call it whatever we want, or just use the default name, and that'll put them all together in this nested sequence. However, if you ever go to your project media panel, you should see your nested sequence. And if you ever double click on that nested sequence, you can open it back up in the timeline so you can see all of the individual clips again if you want to adjust anything. So don't worry about that. So I do have the nested sequence here all together. I assume that you'd be done editing before you create this. And then I'm just going to copy and paste. So I'll use Command C and Command V and that will create another copy of the nested sequence. And then I'm just going to press R on my keyboard to grab my rate stretch tool. That's also right here in the toolbar. And what this does is it allows you to speed up or slow down the sequence. And as I'm dragging the sequence, you can see it's telling me the new duration of how long the clip is going to be. So 59 seconds, 17 seconds you can see it in that little gray pop-up box. So I might have to zoom in a bit on the timeline just so I can see what I'm working with and you can also see so far, it's been sped up 3,210%, so it'll tell you as you go, but the benefit of doing it in the rate stretch method is let's say you're working with music on your timeline, you can make it just as long as you need it to be. So maybe you need it to fill up right to a certain point of the beat. You can do that with this rate stretch tool, but I do recommend you make it fast enough so that you get that cinematic montage look, and it just doesn't. It doesn't just look like a bunch of sort of sped up footage you want to, you want it to sort of flash before the fewer viewer's eyes. So you might see this red bar pop up that just means you might need to render preview this, it's a little bit heavy for Premiere, so I'll go to sequence render into out just so we can watch it clearly and see what we've come up with, and once it's done you we can take a look at what we come up with and get a feel for the, the timing of it if it feels too fast, we can grab our rate stretch tool again, maybe stretch it out a little bit if it feels too slow. We can squeeze it back in a little bit, but we get this cool sequence that if you put it along with some built-up cinematic music, it can make for a cool effect. And like I showed you in the beginning, it can also be a cool way to suddenly cut to black, or suddenly cut to a text title like I, like I did in the intro. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more for free in the playlist on my YouTube channel, and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.